I think that a lot of people underestimate the impact it can have, whether you're young or you're old. The conversation around mental health continues to gain traction, but the number of providers can't keep up with the need for psychological services in Idaho. In our state, there's a there's a lack of those services. Boise State senior Ethan LaHaug is one of those Idahoans who says this topic is a personal one. He says he benefited from mental health care services when he was growing up. The help that provided him hope for his future led him to study psychology in college. I went from being in a pretty bad place to now I live a really normal life. And I don't know if I have the temperament to be one, but I do know that it was, it was a godsend for my life. According to the National Alliance on Mental Health, one in six kids aged 6 to 17 experiences a mental health disorder each year, and half of mental health conditions begin by age 14, so it's no wonder that the professionals in the mental health care field are feeling the weight of overwhelming need for providers in the community. There really is a high need of these types of resources because there's lots of kids, you know, young kids, um, adolescents, it's really a whole range of of them that really struggle with depression, anxiety, um, other mental health conditions in general. Besides the financial factor, social barriers have stopped people in the past from receiving the resources that they need. I entered the psychology field because I wanted to bring more male influences into that realm and I think that if we can show it works not only for women but for men too and make it something that they're comfortable participating in, then that'll help people to fill those spots. The good news is hope can be found and change is made for the better when we invest in our mental well-being and continue that conversation. Reporting in Boise, Ali Tripke, Idaho News 6.